How far have we come? Uh, we have raced. We have raced from New York to Toronto to uh, Vancouver and now finally to Victoria. And here we are, Lisbon Road finns, or at least in fall. Det skjuter i Victoria som ligger på en halv ö utanför Vancouver. Här blir just nu alla lätt grånade damer en möjlig Alice Munro. Ingen har sett henne sedan Nobelkommittén yttrade hennes namn. Men den bokhandel hon grundade för 50 år sedan säljer som aldrig förr. Well, your options are very limited. I mean, we have like, literally two, three titles left. And um, which one do you recommend? Um, this is Jim Monroe's favorite. That's the one that I would. That's and a, an a, early one. And this is the last one. Honestly, it has been mayhem here all day. <laughs> and you are happy. Yes, I mean slightly overwhelmed, but very happy I and mean, yeah, delighted. Okay. And um, we're on the far west coast of Canada. Yeah. All the major publishing houses and warehouses are in Ontario, yeah. so um, we're having books flown out here. You know, we should have more books on the shelf tomorrow. Hon är visserligen bara på besök här, men Alice Munro kallade Victoria för sitt hem under drygt tio år på 60-talet. Hon bodde då här med sin första man, Jim som fortfarande driver bokhandeln. She's also very pleased that a woman won it and they told her this morning you know that out of this 100 and some odd winners only 13 were women. So she's very pleased and obviously thought there should have been more women winners. And what what can it mean for the respect for short stories? Oh, I think it's a real boost. When first book The Dance of the Happy Shades came out Publishers were very reluctant to publish collections of short stories. Här handlar nu nästan allt om kvinnan som alla vill tala om. Och det märkliga är att vi bor på samma hotell som Miss Monroe. Vi har inte sett henne i restaurangen, inte i lobbyn. Och utanför entrén här så väntar nu alla mina kollegor på att försöka få en bild på henne. No, I have not met her, but I would love to. Do <laughs> you think we can going to meet her today, or what? Uh, it's possible. She seems to be a very shy person. Yes. She she takes her writing seriously. So, so, what do you think this award will mean for other uh, uh, Canadian writers? Well, as a short story writer myself, I think it is phenomenal to see the short story form being celebrated in this way, especially for Alice Munro. Uh, she's she's one of the most amazing writers in the world, and uh, you know Canadians are so proud right now. It feels like the whole country is celebrating. What with us. makes her so special, then? She gets to the heart of the matter. She doesn't pussyfoot around. She gets into the layers of meaning in people's lives. Vi har knackat på dörrar och vänt på stenar, men vet fortfarande inte om Alice Munro är sjuklig eller bara skygg. Kvinnan med den där oändligt vackra pennan håller sig fortfarande undan. How do you think she's going to handle this award and the attention? Well, I think she's just pretty cool with it, I think, yeah. She takes it all in her stride. <laughs> <laughs>